Hi there, here's a quick video walking through some of the key monopoly diagrams you might want to use in your exam. So here's a profit maximising monopoly. A monopoly is a price maker. They face a downward sloping demand curve, although the firm is constrained by the position and elasticity of demand. But they can charge an output, uh, charge a price P1 at an output Q1. The unit cost there is C1, so they're making monopoly profit P1, A, B, C1. Now, because the monopoly is charging a price well above marginal cost, the welfare loss is the area A, B, C on this diagram. If they were pricing at marginal cost, output would expand to Q2 and price would fall to P2. Sometimes monopolies are subject to regulatory price caps by an industry regulator. While the price cap needs to be set below the normal profit maximising price, which initially was P1, so I've set it at P2. If you set the price at P2, you have an expansion of demand from Q1 to Q2, moving down the demand curve from point B to C. Now, the monopoly can still make a profit. The profit is now P2, C, D, C2. But as you can see, the total profit has gone down. And crucially, a price cap could lead to an increase in consumer surplus. Now, in the exam, if you want to show the effect of a price cap on consumer surplus, please remember to draw your revenue curves, AR and MR, so that they cut the y-axis. Monopolies, of course, can price discriminate, charge different prices to different groups for reasons not associated with cost of production for the same product. So here's a simple third degree price discrimination diagram where you charge a lower price P1 to a price sensitive or price elastic group at a higher price if you can find a segment of the market that's willing and able to pay a higher price, P2. And the total profit there would be higher than if you set one uniform price. Indeed, if you set a price of P2 in the market, nobody in the left-hand market would be willing and able to pay. Another aspect of uh, pricing is off-peak and peak pricing. This is a nice little diagram showing that at off-peak times, demand is low and price elastic. You therefore tend to charge a low price. Whereas at peak times, when elasticity of supply is falling and the marginal cost is rising and demand is higher, then you charge a higher peak price. This is a good diagram to show uh, things like uh, pricing of theme parks and dynamic pricing used by hotel chains, for example. And then natural monopoly. The natural monopoly is a particular diagram the nature of a natural monopoly is the very, very high fixed costs in supplying a good or service, but the marginal cost is low. I've assumed it's constant. So the average cost in the long run keeps falling continuously as output increases. So with a natural monopoly, it may be efficient only to have one firm supplying the market to achieve productive efficiency. Now, P1 would be the profit maximising price. Whereas what you really want is you want, you want the industry to achieve economies of scale. Things like uh, water utilities, postal services, uh, broadband internet, that kind of stuff. But if you price at marginal cost in this situation, at uh, price P2, then you actually make a loss. So that would have to be in some sense subsidised. Of course, you could go a little to the left there. You could price a little bit higher where average cost meets average revenue. So those are the key monopoly diagrams you'll need for your paper one micro.